Welcome back. Let's do it. Previously, I'm going to join the Avatar. I've been waiting so long for this. The Western Air Temple. Damn. March of Defeat. Trying to put myself in their shoes. As far as they know, that was their best shot. And they blew it. And now they're they're forced to take this walk of shame and not fly. Hey, we're here! Oh, you got here fast. Oh, you can fly. He gets to fly, it's not fair. The only view I'm interested in seeing is the Avatar in chains. Oh, this is, is this when they first started their journey? So go on, Iroh. You should take some time to heal and rest. What else would I expect to hear from the laziest man in the Fire Nation? The only way to regain my honor is to find the Avatar. <sighs> Zuko face palm. We've all been there, am I right? So it was really cool to see that flashback because Zuko gets to see how far he's come. And also it's such a sympathetic moment. We've all had that moment where you're like, God, I thought I knew everything and I knew nothing. Those are some of the most painful, but also some of the best. I mean, it's better than the alternative. It's better than continuing to live that way. I'll take these moments if it means having realizations like, be nice to Iroh, that's worth it. I wonder if the group is gonna accept him when he joins. The new plan is the old plan. You just need to master all four elements and confront the Fire Lord before the comet comes. Right. So not only did they fail to stop the Fire Lord when he's at his weakest, but now he's also about to reach his strongest. Where am I supposed to get a firebending teacher? We could look for Jong Jong. I thought when I first saw that Jong Jong episode that he was going to make a comeback, and I've been waiting because I actually really liked him, if you recall. Zuko obviously is, is more interesting, but I could do Jong Jong. There's got to be someone who can teach him firebending. There he is. Hello. Pan Zuko. Zuko here. Uh, but I guess you probably already know me. <laughs> is he rehearsing? The thing is, Aww. I have a lot of firebending experience. Well, you've seen me, you know, when I was attacking you. Uh, <laughs> I'm good now. I mean, I thought I was good before, but now I realize I was bad. But anyway... I'm convinced. I wasn't bad. You can't really rehearse these things. Just like how Sokka was afraid he wouldn't be a good leader because he didn't make that speech correctly. It's hard to plan things past a certain point when there are other influences that are coming back at you. Aang in the group is not just going to stand there and listen to him talk when he shows up. It's going to be an exchange. So he's going to jump into it. There's a great phrase I like, analysis paralysis. It's like you think about all the perfect ways it should go and you're like, I'm not ready yet. And you like hesitate. Really, it's just a way of procrastinating. If you're going to do it, you should just do it. You are who you are. The situation is what it is. Better to just like meet it head on. Let the chips fall where they may, I think. Well, what's your answer? Yeah, even the frog rejects yeah. him. How am I supposed to convince these people I'm on their side? Just show up. Zuko, you have to look within yourself to save yourself from your other self. Only then will your true self reveal itself. It's not bad. Not bad. It doesn't have quite the same weight, but good imitation. Even when I'm talking for him, I can't figure out what he means. <laughs> I can join your group, or I can do something unspeakably horrible to you and your friends. He's good. Who knew Zuko was so good at reading people? I guess I'm not that good at impersonations. It's pretty good. You should just go into the group and do impersonations of everyone. How would you do Sokka? Actually, I think that technically he's our only choice because he's a firebender. You betrayed us. How can we trust you? Let's go, Aang. If you join us, you have to make sure you tidy your own tent. Yeah, whatever. I would say I see your point, but I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, who am I missing? Did I get everyone? Great impressions, right? I think that'll have to wait. He did it. Good job. Just jump into it. Zuko here. Ouch. <laughs> oh, Appa likes him. It's just like the Earth King and his bear. If the animal likes you, you can't be that bad. I'm good now, and, well, I think I should join your group. Oh, and I can teach firebending to you. You can't possibly think that any of us would trust you, can oh, you? Oh, I got the guitar one right. Yes. Yeah, all you've ever done is try to hunt us down and capture Aang. Oh, I got Sokka wrong. Okay. I admit I've done some awful things. I was wrong to try to capture you, and I'm sorry that I attacked the Water Tribe. And I never should have sent that Fire Nation assassin after you. I'm gonna try to stop. Wait, you sent Combustion Man after us? Oops. You once said you thought we could be friends. You know I have good in me. Trust your heart, There's Aang. no way we can trust you after everything you've done. We'll never let you join us. No! Then maybe you'll take me as a prisoner. No, we won't! <laughs> Get out of here and don't come back. Aww. If we ever see you again, well, we'd better not see you again. 
Wow, way to flip the script. Somehow Zuko is like the best one of anyone now. I like how Toph is standing aside from them. That's interesting. Oh, Toph can recognize that he's telling the truth. That's a really interesting shot. I'm glad I paused it there because you can see there's like a physical representation of the fact that her opinion is distant from the group. She can tell that Zuko is being sincere. It breaks your heart, doesn't it? On the one hand, it's a little bit frustrating as a viewer because you know the full picture and you're like, come on, just accept him. Like, we all know where this is going. On the other hand, it's completely completely understandable and it does add a little dramatic flair for Zuko. You definitely feel sympathy for him. Poor guy, he's just never understood. Like, he just ne can never fit into to what he wants. He's always cast out of everything. Stupid! <laughs> I like this frog. He starts talking about his mother and making it seem like he's an actual human being with feelings. He wants you to trust him and feel sorry for him, so you let your guard down, then he strikes. I did feel sorry for him, but obviously when the time came, he made his choice. This is amazing, and it's interesting to think about. When we feel threatened by people, we put up these, uh, these defenses, and they're there for good reason. They're there to protect us from harm. But in our minds, the way we do that is we categorize them in black and white pictures. We like to think of things in very binary categories, like it's either this or that. So people who we perceive as threats, we think of as just categorically evil and, and wrong and inhuman. But that's a risky point of view to have, because what happens is, you shut down to the humanity of, of other people. It clouds your judgment and, and doesn't allow you to take nuanced point of, a nuanced point of view. It makes you rigid in your thinking about the issue or, or about other people. Because how many times in our lives do we find out that we're totally wrong about something? You know, imagine never letting your guard down and seeing other people as human who are across the aisle from you. You would never be able to learn anything from them and you'd just be stuck. You'd end up being past Zuko who thinks Iroh is an idiot instead of new Zuko who realizes the folly of his ways. I think it's important to leave room for the humanity of, of all people. I think there's more to learn that way. It doesn't mean you have to embrace others or like others. It just means that you are seeing things more fully. I think it gives a richness to your viewpoints of others, even people who are not friends or are not on your side. He risked his life to save me. No way. I'm sure he only did it so he could capture you himself. You're probably right. And what was all that crazy stuff about setting Appa free? What a liar! Actually, he wasn't lying. There it is, Oh, yeah. hooray! I'm just saying that considering his messed up family and how he was raised, he could have turned out a lot worse. Wow. I'm really impressed by Top. I love that. That's such a cool thing. In a way, she's speaking about herself because she turned out really good. I mean, problems aside, stubbornness aside, she has a pretty good head on her shoulders overall. She came out really talented and like skilled and compassionate beneath a stern exterior. There would be no reason to believe someone would turn out that way from the way she was raised, you know, being pampered, spoiled, sheltered. She ended up somehow channeling her energy into protecting herself and making herself great despite her environment, which is such a nice, beautiful thing to see. And so she's saying the same thing about Zuko right now, which is really cool. Another thing I'm thinking about with the Zuko thing, this is something I believe I've spoken about in the past, is that we tend to think of people as, as like static objects. We don't allow for time in our analysis of other people. Like we think of ourselves three years ago, we're like, oh man, that, that guy wasn't the best. I'm definitely better now, I hope. When we look at other people, we're like, oh, three years ago, that person said this. That means they're this kind of person. But the reality is everyone is like you. They're all changing. There's this idea that people can't change. I really, really don't believe that at all from personal experience. I mean, I think maybe it's only the best things that can't change. I think the real core of your being is, is good. And maybe that sounds naive, but I think the best things about you, the pure things about you, are, are strong. It's the things you learn from the outside to protect yourself from trauma that ends up being weak and, and negative things. And I think that the process of learning in a way is, is casting aside those negative things and, and taking away what's not you. And I feel like those are the things that, that can change. It is true that people don't change. It is true people get stuck and rooted in their negative habits and their outlook just because they don't know how to expand because it's scary to be better. It, it takes responsibility to become a better person. But I think you can change. It's important to be pragmatic and protect yourself against other people who have wronged you. But I think, like I said before, I think it's a balance between pragmatism and, and openness to the fact that other people change and can improve. All I know is that while he was talking to us, he was sincere. Maybe you're all just letting your hurt feelings keep you from thinking clearly. Off. Why would you even try to defend him? Because, Katara, you're all ignoring one crucial fact. Aang needs a firebending teacher. Now one shows up on a silver platter, and you won't even think about it? Tough. Talking sense. Again, I don't want to sound too critical of the group, because we have an asymmetry of information. We know how Zuko is, they don't. So it's completely 
understandable why they have that strong stance against Zuko. From an outsider's perspective, Toph is definitely right. I'm not having Zuko as my teacher. Come on, Aang. Well, I guess that's settled. Not <gasps> really. I'm beginning to wonder who's really the blind one around here. Oh! Who is it? Is it Who's there? Stay back! It's me! Ow! Oh no, her foot! I'm sorry! It was a mistake! Let me help you! Is this the beginning of... Zoof? <laughs> Zoff? <laughs> I didn't know it was you! That went well. Why am I so bad at being good? It's a new thing, you know. Be easy on yourself. What happened? My feet got burned! Oh no! What happened? I just told you. My feet got burned. You know what she meant. It was sort of an accident. You trusted Zuko and you got burned. Literally. I see what you did there. We're gonna have to go after him. After what he did to Toph, I don't think we have a choice. No, come, He's come crafty, on. but we'll find a way to capture him. No. Then we'll jump him and really make him our prisoner. This is dirty. They're like becoming the villains here, weirdly. They're like deceiving Zuko and trying to trap Zuko in the way that he was trying to trap Aang before. Oh, it's, uh, uh, Demolition Man? Zoom, Zoom Zoom Man? I can't remember his name. Combustion Man, that's his name. Oh, he can prove himself by taking out Combustion Dude. I'll pay you double to stop! What's his problem? Psycho. I know how to get an angle on him. You got the Saka. Don't fail me now! Nice. Did he just kill himself? Oh. Well, he's dead. Sokka confirmed kill count one? I thought I had lost my honor, and that somehow my father could return it to me. But I know now that no one can give you your honor. It's something you earn for yourself by choosing to do what's right. Wow. Shades of Uncle Iroh. He did learn something. Now he's creating his own, his own wisdom. Honor is something you give yourself. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm sorry for what I did to you. Fire can be dangerous and wild. I need to be more careful and control my bending so I don't hurt people unintentionally. That's what happened with Aang. I think you are supposed to be my firebending mm -hmm. teacher. When I first tried to learn firebending, I burned Katara. And after that, I never wanted to firebend again. Katara's still a little bit salty. But now I know you understand how easy it is to hurt the people you love. I'd like you to teach me. Awesome. Awesome. I still have to ask my friends if it's okay with them. Go ahead and let them join. If you think this is the way to do it, then I'm all for it. Katara's gonna be the toughest sell. Katara? I'll go along with whatever you think is right. I won't let you down! Finally. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. It had to happen. It's cool that they set up so early that fire is out of control and that Aang had that problem. That was a really nice callback to Zhang Zhang. Shout out to Zhang Zhang wherever he is. Welcome aboard. Feels so cool having him in the group. Okay, this is really, really weird. It feels complete now. Destiny is a funny thing. You never know how things are going to work out, but if you keep an open mind and an open heart, I promise you will find your own destiny someday. Amazing. And you can look back and see the beauty of how far you've come. I've experienced this a lot in my life when I go towards something and then I'm immediately hit with, with feedback from the world about the validity of that thing. More often than not, that will inform me of my next action. And so, in a sense, it is a path forward. By having that drive to get the avatar, Zuko was doing the right thing in a sense because he needed to get this far. He needed to go through that journey and have things be revealed to him. If he had just stayed where he was and been too afraid to venture out and never gone on that adventure, got out into the world, had a big impossible ambition, he never would have gotten to this place. You have to like be on some path. I think it's better than waiting for something to arrive at your door, you know, waiting for the hero's journey to show up and announce itself to you. It's just, it's not how it works. You have to go out and do something big. Let me tell you something right now. You make one step backward, one slip up, give me one reason to think you might hurt Aang and you won't have to worry about your destiny anymore because I'll make sure your destiny ends right then and there, permanently. That was dark, damn. Mama bear protecting her cubs. <laughs> Ooh, that gave me some weird vibes. I'm not a huge fan of that. It's a step too far for her. 
again. I think that's the, one of the biggest dangers for Katara. She tends to overstep a little bit. Wow, fantastic episode. Loved it. Sorry to disappoint, but this is going to be a standalone episode, I think. Too good to cram in with another one. But that means Firebending Masters, which I know you guys are looking forward to, will be tomorrow. So I'll see you then for that. <laughs> Unless something goes wrong.